Hello there everybody, um, I've decided to do a series of uh, short videos on the uh, 7300. Uh, the first one I'm just kind of going to show the basic functions of it and how you do things. Uh, kind of mainly aimed at people that might be considering getting one and have some questions or somebody that's just recently got one and finds himself here on YouTube just trying to figure things out so um, we have it running here on 40 meters uh, I suppose we'll start off the basic with the menu so you can go in here this is for this scope function here is for your waterfall in your spectrum scope uh, this is the audio scope it shows you incoming audio levels and uh, bandwidth and all that kind of stuff so uh, I don't really use this to be honest um, I think it's just more of uh, something that's fancy to look at than anything else um, this is your voice here you can store up to eight pre-selected recordings and uh, the radio will uh, automatically fire those off once you hit the button if you have the external keypad made up um, you can trigger them from that um, all that stuff's in the manual. I, I don't use this because I'm not into contesting. Um, now this is one that I use a lot. Um, the meter button. Which when you bring this up. Uh, it shows you your S meter frequency. It shows you your uh, band scope. Uh, also ALC. Compression level. SWR. And I have it set here to show me the current that the radio is drawing from the power supply and um, this is very handy when you're tuning up because it shows you everything you need to see kind of all in one go uh, it also shows you the voltage that is present uh, at the radio and also the operating temperature of the radio itself I've never seen it go above maybe three bars on the on the cool end of it here so I've never seen it gets hot it runs very very cool okay so the SWR graph um, I don't use this. This would probably be aimed at somebody that's using resonant antennas. Um, I use a doublet, so it's not really resonant anywhere. Um, so this feature, it basically what it'll do if you have a resonant antenna, it'll show you. It will plot the SWR graph of the antenna and shows you where exactly it is resonant on the band. Um, I've seen there, there are videos on YouTube of this in operation so I'll go back to menu again uh, the memory I don't use that I don't use the scan the record function uh, if you're talking to somebody that you want to speak or sorry you want to record the QSO you just um, hang on go in there to record record start now the radio is actually recording now so um, when you want to stop that then you just hit stop there again and that file uh, is, is on the SD card then if you, you just put the SD card into your computer and you can listen back to it on your PC or you can email it to somebody uh, we'll cover that in a later video how to do that okay so the settings menu very important menu this um, go to the first page so you have your tone control which will let you adjust between receive and uh, transmit and gives you all the different options of sideband AM FM and CW and um, we we'll go in there no uh, so we we'll put that to zero so I don't know why that was at minus two I must have uh, adjusted that mistakenly but anyway there you are so that's uh, like the base you go back then you can adjust the treble but I have it flat on the receive and you can change your bandpass filter here so 100 and here to 4 depending on what filter you're you're on so that's that uh, connectors is one that you'll use a lot Um again this I cover all this in different videos of uh, setting up various settings for software and the USB and the CIV cable and all that kind of stuff we'll cover all that in depth and um, there's a lot to it and it takes a while to get it right um, 
so as i said we'll cover that in a different video display you can go in here uh, if you want to add your call sign to the screen where it adds up you do it there uh, and we'll go to page one so on the first menu you have the backlight level the display type uh, a is the best and the display font in basic is the best i always have the meter peak hold on for the s meter um memory names that just leave all that stuff as is if you want to add your call as i said you can go in there and you can just type in whatever it is and save it so when you fire up the radio your call will appear down here now uh, connectors where were we oh display we went through all that on the second page then uh, this is how you set your clock in here SD card and others it's for you don't really need to touch anything in here to be honest um, you'll only use a few of them uh, pretty frequently you know so that's that now a question I get asked a lot by people when they're talking to me about this is how do you adjust the power level and stuff like that this control here the multi control is one of the most used controls on the radio because it does so many different things and um, if you want to adjust your power level um, on the fly all you have to do is press this RF gain is at the top or RF power excuse me so you can just click that there once it's highlighted you can adjust it down or up whatever way you want to go now you can do your mic gain, compression, monitor level, all that, it's all the same. Once you have it highlighted, you adjust it with this control here. It's very handy. And even if you're in so you want to change uh, say you want to change mode, all you have to do is touch the indicator up here. We'd we'll say we we'll click CW. And when you hit the multi-control here, it will give you key speed for the keyer and the CW pitch etc now there's a one here people ask about all the time is the the CW side tone level Um how do we do that now it is a bit awkward I think they kind of forgot about it and threw it in at the end Um I'm trying to remember how to do it now myself uh, settings no it's not in there uh, we'll cover that again the video is getting a bit too long now as it is um, settings right so you want to change bands you can just click the first number of the band you're on and it opens the band stacking register so you can go to 20 meters 17 80 uh, sorry, pressed the wrong button there. Back to LSB. 160. We change mode. CW. Rizzy. AM. FM. Data. Back to SSB. So your filters then, if you want to adjust those. Three, they're kind of preset. I always leave it on filter one because I like to listen to smooth audio and stuff like that. So I find it just a bit too narrow. Um, you can play around with these and adjust them if you press and hold that. Um, you can go in and bandwidth. You can actually open that out to 3.6k on receive. You see there. Um, it will open out that far. But I always run at 3k which is uh, good you can soft soft edges or sharp edges whichever you like um, that's all subjective and personal preference there's somebody tuning up um, the scope is very handy um, we want the, the big display what I find is when you have the display in this configuration where the frequency is big and you just have the band scope 
the S meter is bigger. Um, I find that when you have it on this screen here, if we hit expand set, and you have the waterfall on the bottom, it makes it squashes up the frequency up into the top here, and the S meter beside it. And I just find it a bit harder to read. No, and I have good eyesight. Um, I find that if it's showing you maybe 5 dB over 9 on that screen and you go to the other one you'll actually see that it's actually maybe closer to 15 or 20 dB over 9 it just seems to be um, because it's so small on the other screen so uh, there you have it so uh, I think I'll leave it there for now and we'll come back with another video and uh, we'll go through some of the other controls and um, I don't want the videos too long because people get bored so uh, that's it for now and we'll be back again at some other stage with another video thanks for watching bye bye